YouTube Nation, what's up? Eagles Truth here with you. Man, I tried telling everybody EDP, uh, I respect the hell out of you, dude. I, I would love nothing more than to kick it with you and then watch an Eagles game with you and just bullshit. Um, just because we lost, because I, I, everybody thought the sky was falling when we lost to the Vikings. And even in my recap of that game, I was pissed off. I was yelling. If you like rants, you'll love that video. I, but I had a chance to calm down. I had a chance to come back to reality. And know that's any given week, and people like people are saying like, how, if you lose the if we lose the Minnesota Vikings without AP, how do you expect us to beat Chicago? You know, with with Brandon Marshall and Alshon Jeffrey, I believe that's how you say his name, and Bre uh, something Bennett, I, I, you know, and uh, Matt uh, Matt Forte and Jay Cutler and yada 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 yada. Well, like I said, we beat the Arizona Cardinals. It's not like we've been just beating shitty, shitty teams, and then got blown up by a shitty team, and now we're facing our first decent team. You know? Like, we beat the Arizona Cardinals, and we were the only team that has beaten the Cardinals in the last, like, eight or nine weeks. They just went into, they just went into Seattle and beat Seattle and gave Seattle its first home loss in, like, two years. That win looks better and better every week. I mean, that was a quality win. Sadly, they probably won't even get in the playoffs because if they could get in the playoffs... They just proved they could make some noise, but it is what it is. Um, <clears throat> I mean, 54, 54 to 11. Oh, my God. I mean, <laughs> I mean, when we intercepted the ball, I almost didn't expect Boykin to run it all the way back. It was almost like, oh, come on, now you're just embarrassing them. And I was really surprised that Brown, when Vic handed it off, when Vic came in the game, he handed it off. That Brown didn't like stop at like the one or something. And granted, we couldn't have ran it all the way out anyway, so maybe that you know that's probably the reason why he just scored, you know. But I promise you, we weren't even trying to score <laughs> that play. It was just Chicago. We weren't really trying to embarrass you. It's like, but Jesus Christ, we had nothing to play for. Don't give me this three seed, four seed bullshit. Come on, you think Chip Kelly? Or the players are scared to face a certain team in the playoffs. They ain't scared. They don't give a shit who they play. If they were trying to get the three seed so that they could play, so that the Saints, who are usually, you know, sometimes bad on the road, comes in rather than the 49ers, or they want the three seed so they don't, you know, they don't have to play Seattle unless it's the NFC Championship game. That's just poor coaching. That is a piss poor mindset. Maybe I'm taking a leap of faith here, but I guarantee you they're not thinking about avoiding any certain team. Which means, what's the difference between the three seed and the four seed then? Nothing. It's a home playoff game. And you win your division regardless. So to me, yes, last night was meaningless. Meaningless. Could care less if we're the third or four seed. It's still a home playoff win. Whoever comes in, you know, we're in Philadelphia. We fight, remember? That's what Chip Kelly said. Now, I mean, if, if, you, if you made me pick, okay, yeah, fine, I'll take the three seed. But I'm not going to give a shit either way. Um, now it's going to be the three seed or no playoffs. So, But we pretty much had nothing to fight for, nothing to really play for except momentum, or try to get that bad taste out of our mouth last week. That's really it. Chicago had everything to fight for. Don't give me this bullshit like fucking... Well, they, they they had a game in their pocket. You know, if they didn't win it this time, they could always win it next week. Bullshit. You, they can still win the division. That's enough to pump them up. There are people saying, like, Skip Bayless, who's... A, I, I know he says stupid shit just for ratings. I understand how it works. But saying, like, well, I just I just don't think Chicago just came to play at all. They just, you know, whatever. I mean, granted, it didn't look like it, but I guarantee you we were getting Chicago's best at the early going. Now, when it was down 14 nothing or 21 nothing, okay, yeah, maybe it's human nature just, you know, kind of slump your shoulders a little bit, and, you know. But still, I mean, we took it to Chicago. I mean, I don't even know how to put it into words. We didn't just take it to them. Like, we fucking just shit on them. I mean, absolutely just shit on them. Oh, my God. Now, normally, I mean, Grant, like, Sean McCoy, I mean, this this team, this team, get this. 
This team has had 11, I believe, 11 or 12 games with 400 yards or more. The record is 12. The record is 12. We have 11, I think. The record in the NFL is 12. The Broncos are at 12 right now. That's that's amazing. I want to someone here that's watched this video, look up what the most yardage any Eagles offense in Eagles history has had. We have got to we we have got to be blowing that out of the water right now. I mean, I would be shocked if this is not the most yardage an Eagles team has ever had. I'd be shocked. I mean, 11 games over 400 yards of offense. And usually it's not just over 400, like 401 or 402. It's like 450, 475. Last night was 514 or something. Absolutely ridiculous. If the Broncos weren't equally just ridiculous, I mean, we'd be blowing every team out of the, every offense out of the water right now. <clears throat> but anyway, <laughs> our defense has come to play. There was a hiccup last week, last week, and they just do enough of these little hiccups that you don't know what you're getting. Like the offense had a hiccup against Dallas um, in the first Dallas game. Was it an aberration? I don't know. The offense has been pretty good. Even last week against Minnesota, we did over 400 yards of offense and 30 points. It was still a decent offensive showing. Um, so, But the defense has been amazing. Amazing. Get this. We have the we have held opponents under 21 points the exact same amount of times as the Seattle Seahawks. Now I'm not saying that we're equal or better than the Seattle Seahawks defense. They're 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 on a league of their own. What I'm saying is that's pretty good company. There's only been one team that has held opponents to 21 points or more, and it was only by one game, and that was the Carolina Panthers, I believe. I mean, this defense is legit. That was the number, I think it was like the number three scoring offense. It was either the second or third scoring offense. They put the second or third most points on the board in the entire league. And we held them to 11 points when they had everything to play for. Sunday night football, prime time. Yeah, it was on our, on our home turf, but... Sometimes it's like you versus the world. Sometimes teams actually play better on the road sometimes. Um, where it's just like a Sunday night prime time. Everybody versus us. Let's go get them. You know? um, amazing. Absolutely amazing. And I visited the Dallas message boards. Guilty. I just wanted to see what they were saying after we just destroyed a team that absolutely destroyed them. Um, some people were very, you know... They, they, they were admitting that, you know, they probably weren't going to beat the Eagles, you know. And the other half, who were confident, were only confident because they were sitting there saying, like, well, Philly just shot their wad, you know, they, you know, this week. So we'll be overconfident or have nothing left next week. Normally, I would agree with you. Normally, I psych myself out with all these different scenarios. Normally, I would agree with them. But there was something different this week that I felt. And if I feel it, I know the players are, the players feel it. All right. I'll tell you how I felt. Normally, I'm nervous. When Dallas beat Redskins, even though... This is another thing. Real quick before I get on, go on with that. <laughs> the leading story on ESPN first take... I know Skip Bayless is a Dallas homer. But Mike and Mike in the morning and everything like that was... How the Dallas Cowboys showed they can do it and and beat the Redskins. One, hold on. If I recall, they still have a losing record in December this year still. They're two, they're one and two in the month of December. So they're still collapsing in December, essentially, because the best they can do is two and two. Which granted, they'll think of it as a winning, you know, December if they can beat the Eagles. It'll make up for the, the tied record, okay? But so they're still, you know. And it was the Washington Redskins with Kirk Cousins. Like, you beat them by one point. And you were behind by nine points. And you had to make a comeback. And you almost didn't... I mean, it was fourth and 12. One try. If you don't get it, you lose. To a Redskins team. Who's done? 
The coach knows he's getting fired. You almost think he's trying to get fired half the time. Give me a break. Let's look at Dallas right now. Let's look real quick at Dallas's uh, recent history, okay? By recent, I mean the last few games here. I'll start all the way back to when they barely beat Minnesota. Now, granted, you barely beat them. We didn't beat them at all. We got blown out. But it's what it is. Barely beat a bad Minnesota Vikings team. Um, then you get destroyed by the Saints. Nothing wrong with losing the Saints, but an NFL record 40 first downs. And just, you just, oh my God, got embarrassed. Then you barely beat a bad Oakland team. Barely beat a bad Giants team. You get destroyed against Chicago. You get you collapse and let Green Bay without Aaron Rodgers come back and beat you. And then you barely, barely, barely by the skin of your teeth beat a bad Washington team without Robert Griffin. The last seven games have not been very good, Dallas. I mean, come on. You're sitting there like, ah. I don't see the Dallas Cowboys anywhere near the same level as the Eagles. I don't know how you won the first game. But at the same time, I don't know how we lost to the Vikings. Maybe it's just one of those days where it's just like, fuck, I don't know what to tell you, you know? I Granted, our offense has gotten way better since then and everything, but still, one of them weird games. Dallas, you were not anywhere near the Eagles League. Anywhere in the Eagles League. We are a much better football team. Offensively, defensively, coaching, dare I say special teams? I mean, well, special teams returning-wise, I might give you the nod. But that's about the only thing I can fucking give you. That's the only thing I can put in Dallas's favor. Is, is special teams and maybe their, maybe their kicker. Although Alex Hunter didn't hit a 49-yard field goal last night. It's good to see. But, I mean, that's, that's about it. That's about it, you know? But still, having said all that, I was still nervous. Because even though I think the Eagles are a much better team, it's any given Sunday. The loss against Minnesota should have proved that. It's any given Sunday. It's like, great, now it's a one game defines our whole season. And if we don't show up, excuse me, if we don't show up to play, we're going to let the Dallas Cowboys sweep us and then be the reasons that deny us the playoffs. And that'll be a hard offseason to get through. So it makes me nervous. Even though I think the Dallas Cowboys, if they were to get in, are one and done. They're done. At least the Eagles have some hope of maybe getting one or two wins. You know? But I'm still, I was still nervous. But after last night, I'm not nervous anymore. I got this. I'm not worried about this and this and this. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Dallas. We're coming for you. Let's do this. You think you're so big and bad. America's team. Let's do this. We want you. You know, it, that's, that's, after last night, it just pumped me up so much. It's like, fuck it. Dallas, let's do this right now. And that, I think the freaking fans felt that way too. They were sitting there shouting, you know, shouting, we want Dallas. We want Dallas. We want Dallas. And I know Dallas was watching. They heard it. They heard that. It reminded me back of 1981. Now, granted, I was not born in 1981, but as an Eagles fan, you know everything that there was to know about this team, past and present. Back in 1981, you know, like, Dallas, we want Dallas right here at the vet. Well, we're not going to play at the vet or Lincoln Financial Field. We're going to play in Arlington, Texas. But it's had that same type of feel. Like, fuck it. We're coming for you. You know what I mean? And that's what this win meant. I mean, normally I would think like, oh, great, an emotional game where everything was going right. The players are all, you know, like their shit don't stink and everything. And now here we go. And we're going to have a letdown game. One is for the division title. Two, it's against a team that's already beat you. Three, it's against America's team. Um, so those are the reasons why I don't think it's a letdown game. It's too important of a game to possibly be a letdown game. I mean, those three reasons alone. One, it's, a team, it's against a team that already beat you. How could you not take them seriously? Two, it's for the division. How could you not take that seriously? And three, it's against America's team. Which is why I think the Cowboys do so bad. Because all the attention's always on them. Jerry Jones makes sure of it. 
and teams show up to play. It's like playing, you know, the defending Super Bowl champions. Not that the Dallas Cowboys are anywhere near that good, but I'm saying like it's like defending that. Like teams bring their A game against Dallas, and that's probably why they have not won very much lately. You know, in the last 15, 16 years. Um, just my, you know. So that's what I got, guys. A uh, great, great win. Um, I'm excited. I cannot fucking wait. Cannot fucking wait until Sunday night. Um, I don't think Dallas the stadium is a true home field advantage. It's more like a circus show, pretty much. Um, it's not like, you know, Mile High or Seattle or Arrowhead or, you know, different stadiums like that. It's It's not really a, I don't know. But that's it. Go Eagles, and uh, I'll make some other videos here shortly. All right, peace.